She's coming for you. I don't know. She's coming for you. Big splash coming. Good morning, we have just arrived at the slow boat terminal of Luang Prabang where we are taking the slow boat to Pak Bang and the next day to Hai Xai. So it's a two day trip to uh, heading to the, the border of Thailand. Yeah, we're gonna take the slow boat heading to Thailand. We're almost done with Laos. So as you can see, it's 150,000 keep for going to Luang Prabang to Pak Bang. And thereafter in Pak Bang you need to buy a ticket yourself again because uh, you can't book them in advance for some reason. Somebody! Is this to Pak Bang? Yeah, yeah, Pak Bang. On the boat trip you can just relax, enjoy the scenery, talk to some other people or work a bit on these subscribable videos. The trip from Lang Prabang to Pak Bang takes about 7 hours. It has a few random stops in between for local people. You arrive in the late evening at Pak Bang. We stayed at Villa Mekong Guesthouse in a private room for 200,000 keep. They know the drill, a small fan picks you up at the pier. When you arrive at the hostel you pick up your key and if you like you can get breakfast there as well. One. Thank you. We ended the night with a little birthday celebration of another traveler. The next morning you wake up and you can enjoy the sceneries a bit more because it was already dark yesterday when we arrived. This time you simply ask which boat goes to Hawaii Xai and on the boat you will pay for the ticket. Also 150,000 keep. From Park Bang it takes about 6 hours to arrive in Hoa Xai. You basically go under the Friendship Bridge which you will go over to cross into Thailand. Unfortunately they don't drop you off nearby, they drop you off all the way north in Hoa Xai. Thereafter tuk tuks are awaiting you to take you to the Friendship Bridge. So we're now halfway at the border crossing, waiting for everyone to get the bus ticket. And then we're going with that bus to the other side of the bridge. After the border crossing you take a tuk tuk to Chang Kuang and sleep there. So we are now in this dormitory room in Chang Nuang, which is on the other side of the Laos border so we are now in Thailand. Uh, yesterday was uh, very fluently going across the border 
we didn't have any issues so that was like quite easy so we just had breakfast here which was very beautiful and uh, we've now decided to take a bus to Chiang Mai we are skipping on Chiang Rai which is closer it only has like a very beautiful white temple something we were like yeah let's skip that one let's go directly to Chiang Mai which now makes me wonder why did we just take a plane from Luang Prabang to Chiang Mai directly so we've been told that it's a five hour drive we just have to go to the bus station leaves at 9 30 and then you go to Chiang Mai the slow boat was very nice to use it was very calm people were nice on it so yeah a uh, good way to uh, enter Thailand. We are now at the 7-Eleven location where the bus should be. But at the 7-Eleven uh, store you can also buy a SIM card. It's uh, 49 baht for the SIM card itself. And then top up with 200 baht for 30 days unlimited data. So that's something you need. Yes. This <laughs> way? Over there. Okay. okay. Just walk around with three people with backpacks and you get called it. <laughs> from Chiang Lai, uh, buy ticket from here to Chiang Lai and uh, Chiang Lai, Chiang Mai. Okay. Uh, right. uh, ticket inside the bus. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Nine o'clock. That's ten minutes. So this is how the beautiful bus looks like. And it's the bus going to Chiang Rai first because the other one was already full. So first Chiang Rai and then Chiang Mai. I've arrived in Chiang Rai and now looking for the ticket office to go to Chiang Mai. Seems that is there maybe. Green bus ticket office. Well, it says there Chiang Mai. So so that was not available. Yeah. Ticket city by bar for Manhattan to Chiang Mai. Okay. So that was a bit of a hassle. We first found an option to Mark Kahang, which was about two hours drive they said, but it was very weird on the map to find out where it exactly was. And then we had to take a minivan from there. And now we decided to go buy some kind of car for 300 baht per person. At least we go in one way to Chiang Mai and it takes three hours. And the other bus was 65 baht per person and the minivan was still unknown, so yeah. Conclusion, when you know you're going to take this route, just book a bus ticket in advance because all the options we saw were fully booked. That's going to be a long ride. So we arrived in Chiang Mai, we are now in this little hostel which is costing us 200 baht per bed per night and that's about uh, 5 euros per person. We had a really good ride I think, <laughs> well not really, we had a bunch of rain uh, in between, it was a little bit bumpy of course, it wasn't sitting as comfortable as in a, bed, uh, as in a bus, but I think it was like one of the only options we had. We found out that from Chiang Kong all the way to Chiang Mai was the same price, 300 baht. So it looks like we have to book more things in advance now because Thailand seems to be more touristic. And I don't like it. I like the way of just going somewhere and then uh, finding out what to do and then book. But yeah, it's something we have to now look out for in Thailand. So the next thing we booked in advance. That's something for later. First we're gonna do a hike, then we're gonna see some elephants, and then we're gonna do rafting. If you are in Chiang Mai, then you probably want to escape the city because it's very busy. You go on jungle trekkings or to see elephant sanctuaries. Make sure you choose the good elephant sanctuary. We've been looking into selecting the good one as well for today. Here they actually 
to stay in the, in the nature, in the wild, at night because they cannot feed them. So they stay just at night in the forest, in the jungle. So that's quite good, I think. We decided to do three activities in one day because it just saves some time. But you can also do like three day trekking in the jungle or uh, the whole, spending the whole day with elephants. So yeah, it's up to what you want to do. I mean, what do you feel like doing? You have all the freedom to expect except the beaches. We have an elephant here, but this one is totally fine. Now we have the other tree over there. Hi. And this one female, now this one her name is Somai. Somai? Somai? Yes, about 45 or 50 years old. That's yeah, they can they can walk and find some things to eat by themselves, but we cannot leave them all day there. No, because how do, they, do you find them? They have the bill and no. you know the elephant keeper they know when they keep elephants in the jungle, right? If you keep them in that place, they have like a lot of grass, a lot of food. Yeah. They not walk too far, okay. you know, because they stop eat. Yeah. You know, and you can get them back. But if sometimes, yeah, they walk very far. Yeah. Very difficult to find them. <laughs> Do you think this is too small for them to, to stay in? Yeah, I, yes, too small for five. No, but they are not stay here all the time. They can walk out all the time. But yeah, they can walk out. Yeah, right? oh, they yeah. can walk out. <laughs> yeah. But oh. after this, if food come in, they know and they walk back. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah. Well, where can they go to them? They can, they can only go to the street or they can also go in the woods? They can go to the street, but if they go to the street, we have to call them back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Not too good because car, you know, car. Yeah. 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 No? So they, have, they are choosing to stay here? They just, okay, that's better. They know here have food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Here's the food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. If red shirt come in, they have food. <laughs> They yeah, were rescued or? Oh, rescue, or oh, rescue. You know, we cannot do the business about the elephant with the elephant in the wild. Yeah. No. Have big problem. That's Just only option. elephant rescue and the government come to check every year. Yeah. They have microchip and they have license paper. Yeah. If yeah. we not have something like that, it means we are took the wild. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not They're illegal. Right. Coming for you. All right, so there were the elephants, and now the last thing, rafting. I did, and one more hand. Grab the rope. Lock the paddle under your arm. No, over. Lock. No. If you do something like this, not careful. If the boat pump on the rope, be careful. Someone in front. Oh yeah. No. Okay. We really enjoyed this day, not only fun to combine three activities into one, but also happy to see that we chosen the right elephant sanctuary that treated these elephants very well. 
The rafting was maybe not the most extreme variant, but it was good for a first timer. It is now tempting to do more rafting. For more info, check the description and while you are there, like and subscribe is always appreciated.